So uh, today we have another uh, meet with our guest artist and uh, today we have Agden Arbutaite as our guest. We'll see what she will tell us about her, about her art and uh, her journey as an artist and we'll see. Maybe we can uh, explore her life as an artist and it will be very interesting. So today we have uh, news, uh, it's our Instagram live and if you have uh, any questions, uh, as you can see we have artist Agden Arbutaite. Uh, you can write uh, a question and after our uh, talk we will randomly select one and uh, Agla will answer to your question. So I think we can start, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to ask you the first question. So the first question is, how do you see yourself as an artist? Um, I don't know. Um, I think it changes every day. Um, uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I'm in the basement, uh, a rat with a greasy hair. <laughs> oh. And I don't see myself as an artist at all and sometimes you see, you don't really think that you are an artist as such. You, it be, be became so natural for you. It became like a, a, a work, I don't know. So I still like experimenting and searching and uh, just the goal is just to get a little bit better and better. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, uh, maybe I don't dare to see myself like as an artist, so. I don't know, it's hard to answer, actually. Hmm. Uh, I have a question. How do you see when you get better? Better In, in, in what, in what uh, I don't know, in what field exactly you want to get better? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> because I take so many fields. I, 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 I illustrate and then I start to do murals. And uh, then uh, I thought, okay, maybe I should experiment with music. And... Uh, so I don't really measure that, uh, I don't really feel that I am, but uh, in experience how you deal with the uh, uh, process, you see that things are getting faster, you, 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 eventually you are getting better somehow, you want it or not. So, mm -hmm. so it's not like only about technique, but uh, how to write projects, how to find partners, how to choose uh, clients and everything. So that experience built up and from many different levels. Oh, okay. So yeah, that better. Uh, it's um, yeah, sounds good, but actually, when you have to explain it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Okay, second question, uh, third question, actually. Uh, what are the main sources of your inspiration? Um, life. Life. Mainly, yes. Um, what exactly in life? What? Or perhaps life. emotions, I don't know, yeah. or emotions and relationships and of course uh, um, something that you find out, what you, what you learn. Um, I couldn't say that. Uh, so basically life experience maybe, mainly. And uh, because you also not only... My art... My art is everything is filtered through me, so mm -hmm. so more I discover myself, more I discover the, the art. So okay, uh, maybe you can uh, uh, say what do you find so fascinating in life and those experiences that you want to create? Oh, absurd, absurd, and uh, yes, and uh, and sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, yes, but uh, absurd, uh, which is every day. Uh, absurd of every day yeah, makes me nonsenses and, and awkward moments. And, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everything you understand this, that this is wrong or this is bad <laughs> or this is. Um, so that what inspires me because I, I like to make myself laugh. And I like mm -hmm. using humor, 
So when you see, when you combine these things, so that's why a lot of my illustrations are sarcastic. In each other. Yeah, they, they're, they're simple, but uh, they have a meaning behind it. Yeah, they're very raw, I would say. Yeah. Like they're very open. Yes, so that's, that's sort of the, the goal, because the more I try, the worse it gets. Mm. Ah. Yeah, so. I, I can relate to that actually. <laughs> so if it, if it comes from a natural flow, that's the you know, the best. So. Okay. Okay, okay I you. guess moving on to the next yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Um, your art has a very distinctive style. Uh, how did you come up with it? I didn't. I think it's like a signature uh, yeah. that people sign, and that's why when you sign, you can tell which is original which is not because other person cannot sign as the way you are so okay. i think the same with the drawing i don't know what about the other styles but normally um it happens naturally and over years it changes so when i look at my drawings like 10 10 years ago they're totally different kind of similar you can tell but you see that you are like experimenting and experimenting yeah. and I still am and I think in five years I will look back and I see how it is developing but uh, but I don't do anything special I just have to make sure that I don't go too too far to one direction or another one because I get inspired and try to experiment <laughs> mm. so but yeah it's uh, if all of us would draw I think all of us would have a distinctive style because this is how it works, our hand. Yeah. yeah our, it kind of comes naturally. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Our experiences comes through the art and... But it's also how your hand moves and how, how, how your brain visualizes things. Yeah. You just... Uh, we try a lot of times to reach some sort of level of... Um, you know, prof uh, some sort of perfection, or, but uh, in my case it's a free line and I think if all of us would draw a free line, we all have different styles. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't do anything special about it. Okay. okay uh, I have one little question. Uh, what part of uh, your creative process uh, takes uh, experimenting because you mentioned a few times that you experiment and what part of your process is it? yeah not much actually at the moment uh, i would like to do it more but uh, and i actually get very frustrated when i think oh today i'll draw with colors mm -hmm. and then i feel like i'm wearing someone else's shoes and then i give up and then but when i talk about experimenting i now and then I, I try, and uh, because I have um, some clients that I have do, to do commissions, so I have to uh, adapt. And uh, yeah. then it naturally happens experimenting, because you need to kind of find a solution for, for the client and for yourself. Mm -hmm. So that experiment uh, is not like uh, you let your hair loose and like, I'm going to experiment, but it happens naturally as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, so one part is work, another part sometimes I experiment and uh, normally, normally I just don't, uh, I wish I had more time for experimenting. Now it's a time when I feel like I should try something else as mm -hmm. well. Okay, so next question will be about, uh, not about visual art, because you are doing uh, a lot of stuff as we saw <laughs> in the preparation phase. Uh, so you mentioned that music, uh, in one interview you mentioned that the music takes a big part of your life. And, uh, mm, or that was incorrect? Uh, maybe not, no, I, because I don't think it takes a big part of my life. Okay. Uh, it took part of my life because I, thought I, I wanted to experiment and no. And That's make uh, those, uh, uh, make, make just to turn my old ideas to reality. Mm. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll do one project because it was with me for a long, long time, and I thought I have to do it. Um, I don't think music takes a lot of 
uh, a big part of my life. It comes and goes, but because I know uh, knew some musicians, oh. <laughs> so I don't dare to say that it takes a lot of a lot of uh, a big part of my life. But I really, really enjoy it. I really enjoy songwriting, and I uh, yeah. Uh, and I really enjoy playing with it, and uh, I really like it. Yes. Um, were you happy with your experiment, uh, with, with how that music came out? Uh, yes, uh, in one way, and in another way I felt like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> because, because I felt like, uh, I felt like, why did I decide to, uh, to do it? Because of course it's really hard, and you realize yeah. that uh, musicians are musicians, I am not a musician. I just, I just had songs, and I yeah. had the. It was, it was not purely a songs, but also monologues because my my nature is like performative. So I can combine, and I. Um, it was it was hard to value that. I was very pleased, with, and I it gave me a lot. Um, because it was a performance and I had to go and perform. Uh, I got, a, I gained a lot from this project, but I felt a little bit uncomfortable because I'm not a musician. Mm. <laughs> I felt like, yeah. because you know, when you start working with musicians, you understand that uh, you are not. <laughs> yeah. But uh, on the other hand, uh, all of us can do whatever we want. And yeah. uh, I wanted yeah. to try that. And, if I want to do it again, I'll, I'll do it again. And there's, um, what, is there a rule that non-musicians cannot try music? <laughs> it's, uh, I think that's a great attitude because, yeah. But yeah. yes, but uh, at some point it's kind of, uh, um, yeah, feel, felt like I'm trying someone else's shoes. <laughs> okay. I think uh, moving on to the mm. next question okay. would yeah. be a great idea. Um, so how was your journey as an artist? Um, how did you get to where you are today? How did that happen? I don't know. It uh, was a lot of struggle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because, I, I suppose, yeah. Yes, because uh, at the beginning, when I finished school, I thought I'll be an actress. Oh. I, oh, I that's wanted very to nice. enter a drama, uh, drama school. I didn't. And then I thought that's fine because there's so many things I want to do. But then I moved to London and I studied performance. Okay. And during that time we like we filmed and we edited and we did lots of digital stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I want to do it. Oh, and then I did the animation and I did like I tried so many things. And uh, then I thought, and then I graduated and I thought. Shit, <laughs> I know nothing now. I don't know anything what I want to do. Yeah. Oh. And uh, then I start drawing, and then I realized that I always, always, always was drawing. Like never stopped. I was, it was like always like, doing something. Yeah, it was uh, my hand that just like a nervous expression. So I thought, okay, I'm just didn't think of uh, being like a. a Artists in, in, in that from that perspective, but I was just drawing to to, to relax. Yeah. Um, okay. And I felt so relaxed when I was following the brush and the and ink. So it was giving me lots of relief because I was very very lost and it was very confusing because I was like 22 and I thought that I had to find the answer right now and right here and. You know when you have to look for a job, but you don't know what you're looking and you don't know what you can offer. <laughs> so, and this, so I just thought, okay, I need to start somewhere. And I thought, now I have a lot of drawings, so I'll create a website for them. And then I did that. And then, and then slowly and gradually, and then this journey was like, I was working in, in cult center, organizing events, then I was working in the festival and, and uh, in and out, in and out. Okay. So just actually drawing is my main thing for the last two, three years. But for, for, for I had lots of other things to do and, uh, because I was not really sure whether. 
So it was a journey full of uh, expectations, disappointments, and yeah, and, and self-discovery. Uh, and self-discovery. Yeah, it's uh, never had a goal to be um, illustrator. Or oh. Never thought about it, and, uh, and there was time when I did not see myself in either actors or performing that, so nothing, just uh, so, but naturally, it just happens naturally, you have to draw. Okay. My hands are like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to. <laughs> so uh, that's interesting because uh, our next question would. Uh, was planned to be about illustration and you answered that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I will uh, uh, make a little pause uh, in our di dialogue uh -huh. and just uh, say to our uh, Instagram viewers that you can uh, write down a question and after our talk we will uh, select one of your questions and uh, Agla will try to answer. Uh, okay, so next question. You also do a street art, murals, mm -hmm. and uh, do you have a favorite one uh, of yours or in, I don't know, in, in the whole world of uh, street art artists? Um, I guess, uh, uh, I, guess I, I do, but uh, it's not that I'm full of names and surnames. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I, for, for example, I know the style, but I'm like, who is it? <laughs> it's that guy who, who draws those faces. Okay, but maybe <laughs> yeah. you remember yeah. the uh, the picture, how it looked, and what uh, what you liked in that picture. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to answer, actually, because uh, mm, the street art also came to me very naturally. Um, I do like it. Oh, where am I? <laughs> In that answer, uh, oh, don't know. Okay. I can't. I can't really you now neither describe or tell an artist, but okay. I do. I do. Of course, I love street art, uh, murals. Uh, you know, like. um, what would be your favorite? Yeah, uh, yeah right. like the one that you did. Uh, what yeah. would you consider your favorite <laughs> mural? <laughs> Let's talk about my own. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I mean, my own. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to tell because I'm, I'm, I'm very critical towards my own artwork. I'm like, yeah, I, I can imagine. Okay, so, but but, uh, but, but, I but know, still, but like maybe have what you a what do you one. enjoyed the most to, to make uh, as an art? Oh, as an art. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I love the painting. Um, oh, not paint painting. No, <laughs> this is the painter. I'm not the painter. <laughs> uh, yeah, drawing this physical work, which okay. you actually have to do. I also make props now and then. Uh, oh, so I like yeah, I craft. saw that. I like crafting, uh, so that's why I like making those big murals because it's physical, and oh. you have to. It's adventurous as well. <laughs> we have weather, and you have big scale and tired. <laughs> okay, I, I, I just I, I will try as differently. What what uh, what was the most interesting experience uh, in drawing? Maybe there's a uh, mural that you drew in the storm or something like oh, that. Oh, uh, you see, I um, it's pretty well planned, and it's not uh, maybe that uh, that I haven't done that many. Uh, but yeah, well, I had once I was high up uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the tower, in the, in the lift, and drunk guy started to crawl on, on that uh, oh. on that on that pipe, oh <laughs> and uh, I, I started calling police because these things uh, they are designed to to be on balance. If mm -hmm. someone starts crawling and you're on the, on the higher stuff, you, you, you're scared. Yeah. <laughs> so that was very scary and adventurous. And then I had to, he was crawling and I had to push the button to let the, to, to let the elbow down. I don't know how to say in English or the names of oh. the parts. So. Um, I understand. And yes, and I'm afraid of heights. Oh. So, um, 
So when the wind blows and you're high up, and, and someone's like, crawling. There's, there's no way back. You have to do it. Just start now. Don't look down. Okay. And, uh, and yes, and a couple, for a couple of days, you have this bouncy feeling, but <laughs> all the time. It's like, so, so these are kind of typical um, stories of heights, and uh, and of course you need to deal with heavy techniques. So you have to pull that heavy machine after you and put it in a safe place and lots of small things maybe nothing nothing too like exciting <laughs> well okay. that still sounds like an exciting story <laughs> yeah now, especially with that uh, crawling man yeah <laughs> yeah it was very very uh, not exciting at that moment <laughs> it was scary i suppose okay. um yeah so moving on to the next question I yes carolina <laughs> <laughs> okay so what has art taught you? Like, what did you learn from it? Hmm. Mm. Perhaps that um, um, that uh, you as an artist, that you have a responsibility. I see it in that way, and you can uh, tell uh, you can tell a message if you want. And uh, I realized that conceptual art, uh, which has something um, to, uh, to say behind the artwork, is the one I appreciate uh, the most. And I like how art talks to you in the ways that other forms can't. Yeah, like a universal language. So, um, and uh, how art actually eases everything. If it's uh, if it's a highway, for example, and you put an artwork, a big sculpture, and in 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 areas where it's not like very artsy, people somehow relax. And like oh, that's interesting. Well, it's so I like the power of art actually, and that's um, that is the most inspiring thing to me how something that is so wasteful art is very wasteful it's like why do you using this? resources yeah for, using for resources nothing. for nothing yeah it's like great when you look at the, from the dry perspective of nothing yeah. it's prone to the bin it creates a lot of waste <laughs> uh, but it has such a big power for an impact, impact. Yeah. yeah so i like how that's the most inspiring thing to me how it can talk and explain things that uh, politicians can't and uh, so that's the most um, the driving force for me yeah great very very beautiful answer <laughs> thank, you. thank you for sharing okay uh Oh, uh, next, next you, question. You kind of answered the question yeah, again. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not that you sent me the question before. Yeah, uh, but it's great. Mm -hmm. It's great yeah. that you're answering uh, in complex ways and it's very inter interesting to listen to you. So, okay, that would be... That's very... it? <laughs> no. Uh, can you reveal one thing in your creative process that you found by yourself, maybe, and uh, you think that you're doing it in your own way. Maybe there's some kind of uh, <laughs> process secret that you can reveal to us. Okay, the maybe. It, well, of course, it's not a secret. A secret, but to me, how to me, creating is a lot of struggle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I suffer a lot. I feel. Uh, because I'm very nervous and um, it hardly ever comes easy to me. Um, um, if I know many artists that are like always like picking ideas like fruits. I feel like um, I don't feel like that. Um, so my idea, my real realization that struggle is part of the process. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you spend three time, three, three days struggling, not knowing what to do, how to do, or everything, or, or something like you feel like you will never think of anything, and you will never have idea for this. So my 
solution, not my solution, my realization is that this is part of the process mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and that means you're using that, that those three days resources or whatever time it takes to, or to suffer and then it will come. Oh. So, so that means when I struggle, I think like, okay, this is normal yeah. and it will pass. And, it, and it's, it's not that, oh my God, something is wrong with me. I don't have an idea, but it's part of it. It's included. It's like, you yeah, have a contract and like free does of struggle, no, 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 good ideas, bad ideas, and then solution. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you have to spend time on it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't spend time, then you won't go through the struggle. Yeah. But not everybody goes for struggle. I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I. Uh, this is this is what makes a little bit uh, easier to me, because mm. as, at least I know that I'm spending now my time, yeah. and it's not going great. But it is part of the. But process. it is going. <laughs> but it is going. Yeah. yeah, that's not going anywhere. It's part of going somewhere. So your secret uh, of your creative process is your attitude towards uh, the, the struggle. struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's no there's no other way because yeah. you have to you, you have, have to have push to, through. You know, yeah, this. you have to find some solutions because otherwise it's very easy just to quit. And this is what I also do. I like I quit and I don't do it for one week. Oh. And then you, when you come back, you come to, oh, the same struggle page, don't it? Uh, <laughs> but of course, taking breaks and taking uh, time off is always also helps, but at least that makes me feel less guilty of, uh, of not, uh, of not to succeed, like mm -hmm. succeeding in a way. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's maybe, you know, a uh, secret, not, not the secret, but, uh, a hack. <laughs> I know, uh, you know, I, I, I think that uh, uh, the thing that you shared with us, uh, this thing is uh, uh, very good to listen to maybe young artists or maybe, I don't know, artists, just mm -hmm. general people that uh, wants to create but don't know how to start and they grab a white paper and they don't know what to do and they think that they can do it they can do it and they put it away yes but actually uh the reality is that like you said that not everyone uh, goes with a struggle yes but uh, it's a natural thing and you don't don't need to be afraid of it and sometimes you just need to go through it and uh, so that's very nice that you share that with yes, us. Yes, and uh, it's just as long as you put your time into it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, it is your time you, you spend. It's part of mm. your experience. But if you don't, if you sit on the sofa watching Netflix, that doesn't that's, count. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it yeah. only counts that struggle counts. Yes. Yeah, so. And uh, if paper doesn't work, maybe. Like for me, scrap paper works. White mm. paper scares me a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this is a really interesting question, actually. Um, if your artworks would be tools, what would they be used for? Digging. <laughs> <laughs> Digging. I w did my first uh, uh, answer coming from my subconscious it would be a spade. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, a, it's a... maybe you can uh, uh, ex explore your subconscious and and tell us why and tell uh, us yeah. why. Yeah. But I don't know why, so I can also dig. speculate. Yes, uh, why digging? Yeah. I don't know. It's not. It's not something that you can uh, um, fix things. <laughs> it's not like a fixing tool, is it? Mm -hmm. It's uh, something that you could. Uh... Oh my God! I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I just thought 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 of it uh... because uh, a spade is a very useful tool. Mm. Yeah. You can not only dig something out, but you can cover something. 
Oh, there is yeah. something underneath. I actually think I know why she said that. Um, you know, as we mentioned before, our illustrations are very, um, I would say, like raw and they're maybe uncomfortable because they explore such uh, uncomfortable emotions. So I guess you dig up those emotions, you know? Yeah, perhaps. Like, you, you just yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe. But honestly, this was the first word that came to my head like immediately and I, and I, and I yeah, said Yeah, it was it, very like, fast. <laughs> yeah, it was very fast. I, I wasn't sure she was going to answer the question because it's very difficult actually, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, but I think that... Uh, I don't know myself why, I just imagine it's a, it's a, it's a digging tool. <laughs> okay, so uh, we almost came to an end and we have uh, our helper Aidas. Yeah, we have a one question for Joseph. <gasps> okay. And the question is for you. What was your greatest fear when you decided to become a professional artist? Oh, oh I, I will uh, uh, repeat that because we have microphones. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. what, uh, what was your biggest fear uh, when, when you decided. decided to be a professional artist? Thank you very much for the question. Um, I think I didn't realize that I had a fear. I only realized that I had fear when I realized that for five years I was doing other work, um, events, festivals, I was doing organizing. Uh, stuff and I realized that I, w I always had fear to uh, it, it, lots of things uh, to start uh, to don't have a plan not have financial uh, stability um, and also feels like everyone else comparing myself to others and thinking that uh, it's just so much, so many things to do and I, I'd rather not do it. But it was not direct fear. It was fear that you... It was fear that you later realized that you had that fear and that's oh. why you did so many other things. Mm, but you always yeah. wanted to do that. Yeah. So the fear or the fear uh, was talking, was taking action in, in, in other ways. So yeah, so that was... Um, um, that would be perhaps my my answer. It's uh, it's a lot of insecurity. You never know when you have money or where you have clients or and where to start and <laughs> how to build your portfolio. Lots of lots of different things. So lots of fears as well. And I still have fears all the time. It never goes away. I think we all have fears. So yeah. yes, yeah. yes. So that you just have to realize that um, uh, if, if you want to do art, the fear is going to walk along. Yeah. It's, uh, no it's just there all the time. You just... You just ignore it after um, a while. Or maybe I don't deal. know mm. if it's ignoring or just... Uh, you just kind of get over it, you know? Like, like you realize that it's struggle. always going to be there oh. and then you just sort of go hand in hand. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, but with time you see that, okay, this is... At this moment I'm not creating anything, but it happened before, it was a break, and yeah. it always goes in phases, yeah. it goes ups and downs. Yeah. If you do office work, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, because it's just a, a routine yes. work. You, so you yeah, so any... that fear, uh, especially for more sensitive people, is uh, is there all the time. Because yes, you have to understand that it's not the most financially um, stable, stable, <laughs> stable yeah. choice. Yeah. And so yeah, and um, so that's my perhaps answer. Thank you very much for it. Yeah, very interesting question. And we have another one. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another I'm one. excited. <laughs> There's a question for you. Uh, how did you know, knew that you want to be an artist and sell your own products? Oh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just uh, have this uh, passion for drawing and for uh, express, expressing uh, myself in one form or the other. And, uh, oh, sorry, what was the question? Uh, how you knew that you wanted ah, to be... So, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't I didn't know, but uh, I enjoyed the process the most of all other activities. 
So when you uh, uh, measure and it's like, oh my God, this is the, the most joyful thing I'm doing. So perhaps I would like to continue doing that. <laughs> Because on many things I, I I'm really bad <laughs> in many other in many uh, other uh, forms. So this is where uh, I thought that I would like to employ my creative uh, power. Okay, great. So I think uh, thank you for your questions, but uh, we need to wrap it up, and uh, we have uh, one last question. It's okay. a tradition. Uh, some uh, we're making. I don't know. No, I don't know if it's a tradition. I said that, but it's just a regular question. And uh, is there anything else that you want to say to the world for listeners in Instagram, for YouTube uh, viewers, or just I don't know. Um. Uh, there is no one way and there's uh, no uh, recipe for anything, especially in creative world. We are all very, very different and um, perhaps what works for some doesn't work for the others. And um, so perhaps you just, uh, I just want to wish if, if there's like artists and uh, or doubting artists, and that doesn't matter. You have to be happy, and you have to uh, express yourself and don't oppress it. So I wish that for everybody. Do not suppress your creative energy. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so great that was very interesting I want to encourage uh, our viewers to, from YouTube from Instagram to visit and explore Agla's uh, art uh, you can find her in Instagram Facebook Agla Narbutaite yeah the easy, easiest easiest <laughs> name that could be yes uh, so and uh, yeah, thank you for uh, listening. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we really appreciate if you give us feedback, what you like the most and maybe what you don't, what uh, maybe what you want to see uh, from maybe some artists that you want to hear. We can try to reach them. And uh, Agla, thank you for, you, for being here and uh, uh, sharing with us your journey, your insights of your art. Thank that you very much very for inviting me and having me. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, great. So, bye for. Bye, all everybody. Of you. <laughs> bye, everybody. <laughs>